Nubot sets out to solve many different problems, and it uses the Robocop competition as the test bed to try and solve these problems. Uh, so Robocop is an international competition that is run every year and the main idea of Robocop is that everyone comes together to collaborate on robotics research. So the goal of the Robocop competition is that by 2050 we will have a full team of humanoid robots that will beat the FIFA World Champions under FIFA rules. So Newbots itself comes together um, to work on a variety of problems such as vision, uh, motion, uh, localization and behavior. So we like to focus on vision, and we do this with machine learning. Okay, outside of competition time, Newbots will work individually and in groups, uh, sometimes at home, sometimes in the lab, and we'll go through what needs to be done, we'll plan our roadmap, then we'll come up with project plans and work on those specific projects. One of the biggest hurdles for the Newbots team is the transition between different robots. We started out with robotic dogs, and now we've moved up to about one meter tall robots, which are humanoid. In the end, we'll want humanoid adult-sized robots. This will be another challenge again. The main goal for new bots is to participate in Robocop and do well and contribute towards robotics research. At the moment, we are doing fairly well. We were quarter-finalists last year, and we have won the competition twice. The other goal for the new bots team is to release research papers in the areas of vision and localization. We hope to continue into the future to release these papers and contribute to these research fields. The Newbots robots have a variety of areas that they need to excel in to be able to play robot soccer. So it needs to know if it's upright or lying down on the floor. Then we also have motion. So the robot needs to walk around, it needs to be able to get up, it needs to be able to kick the ball. The robot also needs to be able to see things. Then from this, we'll use all this information and we will go through behaviour. So our behaviour will determine how we will walk to the ball and how we will then kick it into the goalposts and ultimately win the game.